<laughs> oh, oh that's good. It's okay, uh, we can put this on the on the reels, on the actual tape, and archive it for years and years, right? And an instant stale man on Temple Ruins, because nobody loves Temple Ruins. I love Temple Ruins. At least Most a people bit. don't like Temple Ruins. I know the players generally don't, but this is a map where this you see true. this is a map where you see the time limit uh, actually come into play. But it's just so hard to get from gins to flag, gins to flag that nobody likes it. Very true. It takes a small eternity to get from one end to the other running routes, and I think that's the reason why so many people despise it. Yeah. So we're gonna wait for the next map on rotation. Uh, and it looks as if our stream is in fact up. I don't see any issues going on with the quality right now. I don't see any drop frames. Okay. <laughs> I was like looking at the text and the everything and the mouses and whatnot, and I was like, oh, well, that doesn't look too bad right now. Okay. The beauty of keyframes. It's not too bad. <sighs> It just looks grainy. Yeah, just really grainy. It's like someone decided to throw dirt across the camera. Oh my god, this looks so unprofessional. I want... Craig, I want my money back. <laughs> Good thing we work for free. You get what you pay for. We are paid with pride. Some some exactly. sort of twisted pride. We're, 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 we're paid with e-popularity, that's what it is. For esports, we're gonna yeah. have e-money and e-monopoly money and... Where is this headed? Oh, wow. But, but you can already get those. Hey guys, after party in Second Life. Uh, I don't recommend that to anybody. No, all waifus all. invited. Uh, the only good thing I'll say about Second Life does have some decent bands that are unfortunately trapped in Second Life. That's fortunate. All right, and we're about to go live here in five, three, two, one seconds. Oh, well, that was fast. Color has been restored to our worlds. And let's see, Kinky's running on a cap route, x Fade setting up for a cap route, Alkalal going to a very nice sniper position for this map. Nobody seems to be using the towers that everybody was complaining about for snipers. And Kinky's going to try to make a quick grab. I think that heavy on flag has got him in his sights and he is lit up and killed. And it looks like uh, x Fade sniped out instantly, Deagle coming up, wait. Oh, he is Pathfinder. Okay, I had to make sure there. Uh, Skinbug, once again, he's going to be setting up off this hill, conking himself, and heading straight towards the flag. Foth is there to make a distraction. He actually clears out right next to that heavy. Unfortunately, and he Silver is Chaos out clean. is going to go for him. Silver Chaos is going to snipe him right away, right over the chasm. We'll see if he can get over this. Ooh, this looks really risky. I'm not sure if he'll be able to... Oh, he does get away! And... Xandriel is the only person remotely close to the flag. I'm not sure that there's much he can do at this moment. And there it is. Puppy First kisses, why are you so strong? Coming out hard. The strongest team alive, aside from deployable trees. I'm talking in the naming department. Puppy kiss is too strong. Really showing a strong arm today. Uh, if if Forza Dom is a dominant force in other games, they're really going to have to work on that teamwork. Looks like we've got Nope, K-N-O-P-E, coming in. I don't know if he's heavy on flag or he's going to try and help Kinky here. I believe they're just going to put some pressure on the stand. Fouette's the only person there right now. Vaco's now heavy on flag. Uh, from, it looks as if there's three people just skirmishing up there. From what I know about Buffy, Puppy Kisses, main person on flag, always tobacco, very good at his role, and Fouette, master of all trades. Now Nope gets out with the flag and misses his bun. Fouette's going to yep. be there to pick it up. Nicotine's probably going to go for the gins, maybe? Puppy Kisses can lose that protective force field. 
over on who, who are these guys? Forza Tom? Their their generators are down. Yep. Flag that heavy on flag. And X Fade looks to be setting up for a route, a further back route, so he doesn't get caught by the sniper this time. And Still. Hiro Maki and Foth are going to converge with X Fade to get the flag, uh, to make sure the flag gets cleared, and it surely does. X Fade comes out with it, moving at about 250 across the midfield. 75% he health. A, yes, he's got. Uh, he's actually in a very good uh, positioning. Silver, uh, Silver doesn't have any line of sight on him from that vantage point. Kinky's going to try to get an e grab. Yes, he will. He's going to go to the. Trying to get out of there, but he gets taken out by the flag carrier on the Blood Eagle side and is back on the stand. There's the cat. Sandrio getting lit up by a conk. I'm not sure if he was trying to lom it or what exactly. And he's gone. So I think Forza might benefit from killing themselves when they're not much use. That would help with their teamwork and coordination, I believe. Yeah, they seem to, uh, killing out and synchronizing and setting up routes again uh, is something they'll definitely have to learn on. I'm also noticing that, um, like you watched before, uh, their fragging abilities need some work. They need to take advantage of an initial attack, like a surprise element, but it seems like it, it, they don't really get that. And speaking of surprise element, Hiro Maki's actually set up on the Diamond Sword side of the field, just raining down pressure from below, and it's really keeping the defenders occupied up there. So what I'm really not seeing from Forza here is, you know, actual routes uh, being run. I believe people are like Kinky's trying to pick it up from front to back right there. So maybe they're trying for a llama strategy, but it hasn't worked out so far. Puppy Kiss is two up about four and a half minutes into the game. And it looks like Deagle's setting up for a route. He's about 10 seconds out right now. Hiro Maki and Foth are both clearing out any defenders on the stand. Here he comes. He's going to get out with it. He's moving pretty quick right now. He's actually moving at almost 300 Sanix. He's going to clear the chasm in midfield. And uh, for all intents and purposes, he looks like he's good to go. Silver Snapped Chaos has got a Snapped great out. line of sight. But it did not go in the chasm. It is still free. And it could very well be recovered. I see a couple of Blood Eagle individuals moving up to try to get it back. x -Fade, the first one to get there. He gets knocked out by Nope, though. Nope. Oh, it goes over the side and falls deep into the abyss, and it's back up on the stand. Nope suicides, just to say nope. Very good play. And Foth and Hiro Maki are still set up in the back of the base on the Forza Domination side. They actually lom it off the stand. Hiro Maki and Foth both... Uh, Moving up that field. Hiro Maki gets a mid-air reclamation. Very impressive. Uh, Thugonomics manages to get the fly back on the stand, but what was more... Oh, and it uh, looks like um, it's back off from a Llama Grand. Foet coming out with it. Not moving too quick, but feeling awfully confident, it looks like. He gets taken out, though. And uh, Thugonomics is going to get it back on the stand, it looks That's like. That's perfect here. timing, though. x -Fade is coming less than 10 seconds out, ready to pick oh. up that flag. Oh! Nice putt from Deagle. Foth is going to try to do a follow-up. Thugonomics, is he going to get it back? No, he will not. It just jumps in the air, but now, now it's back. And so back to, back to a flag reset. x -Fade deviated his route to try to pick it up, and it was just like two seconds away to picking, picking up that flag before it was returned. Good try on all sides. That was a very nice escorting, uh, uh, basically a punch, escort punch strategy that they were using there. Pretty impressive to see. Amazing it stayed alive for that long. And we yeah, got Foth 22 coming up for some heavy offense. And on the other end, I believe we've got a couple of individuals setting up. Yeah, Xandro, I was watching him. He kind of slowed down pretty quick to a dead stop of death. Yeah, kind of unfortunate. However, X Fade's about five seconds out. He's going to be heading in there from a right to left. Scott. <laughs> He's got really good positioning. Oh, but he dies in, on Signod's super heavy uh, Doombringer. That was almost perfect. Almost. Silver Chaos still hadn't seen him. And Hiro Maki going to be setting up again to pressure on the stand once more. It looks like Deagle is um, going to be... I'm not sure what he was doing exactly. He's setting up for a route now, however. Oh, God. Alcohol is just lighting up people left and right. Not doing too bad for a sniper. That is what he does. And Xandrio setting up once again. He's going to pass a couple of the cappers from Puppy Kisses uh, on his route. 
and he's about 10 seconds out now. I don't think he'll be able to get this off the stand. Kiki's the only one there to try and clear it. Zandrio and coming in, getting sniped. Does get out with it. And Manages. has plenty of health, 60 health, yeah. 60%. Uh, alcohol lighting him up, though, from behind. I think he might get him, uh... Oh, yep, there it is! 197, 95! He's almost dead! 20 points of health! He's and the flag is back. out on the other end of the field, but this may be a cap for Forza. Yes, it will be. Nice synchronization there of communication for the reclaim and the cap. Uh, pretty watch, and he managed to do that with 20 health. Quite lucky. Yeah, nobody was chasing him like in a proper chasing fashion, even though it wasn't going that fast. So it was all up to Alcohol. You failed us, Alcohol. How could you do this? <laughs> well, it would be interesting. Is... Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was about to say, he's got himself an inventory station up there to uh, better accommodate his sniping abilities in the future. And it looks like we got a strike on the field now, too, from Fouette. Ooh. Uh, capping, or sorry, speed of ejecting yourself from a strike just got moved down to 200 Xanax. So, strike crapping, not as popular, but we'll see what happens. Also, I'm curious if, um, that's pronounced Fouette or Fouet? It's Fouette. I asked him on, on TeamSpeak the other day. Okay, because that could very well be French, and I was not sure. Yeah, French is always scary like that. Yes, it is. I would know, since my family comes from there. <laughs> Hiramaki has the flag about halfway home, going against Thugonomics, but Thugonomics is taken down. Nobody's here to, to take on this escort team. The only look at, he... Just look at all those people. There's like at least four people escorting him. The, the there are four people, four people on the other side coming in. Nope, with the e-grab. No health left. Drops it. Nicotine's the only hope. Nope. Return. Cap. 3-1 to one now, in favor of Puppy Kisses. Great escorting across the entire midfield. They weren't even moving that fast, but their fragging abilities really sealed the deal in getting that flag home. Oh, yeah. I think Thugonomics is trying to lob it now, but with a strike on his tail and three defenders, he's not going to get far. There he goes. Everybody misses it just before Kinky can pick it up. Oh, so we're back to a neutral game. Uh, Jens are down on Puppy Kiss's sides. Forza has managed to keep them up. Here, Maki is about to change that, it looks like. I mean, your base dude. Destroying your Jens. Fouet is basically parking that flag in Strike, and so is Nope and Nicotine. Or, Nicotine, rather, is trying to get away with it. Fouet's just lighting up each and every person that tries to pick it up. And he is down. Tobacco's going to get it back on the stand. We're back to square one once again. Wow. Fouette is really tearing up everyone that's getting remotely close to the stand. He's literally just hovering and shooting at anyone that draws close. Definitely not worth it very much. X-Fade managed to pick up the flag on his run. He's almost home already. Uh, Zeandrio with an E-grab to get away from Puppy Kisses. Mm, actually getting pretty far. Almost halfway home. Xandrio's got a strike on him, and he gets taken out in midair. The flag is out with him. Whoa! Look at that flag. It laid down. That's kind of weird. <laughs> it's doing it again. The flag is That's tired bizarre. Everybody. Give it a rest. The, the flag is now exhibiting gravity. That's cool. I like this change. And so it is... There's a cap once again, is 4-1, you were saying, Kindress? <laughs> I have to stop laughing. Fouette managed two mid-air kills by ramming into people. The flag went down every time and jumps out of his, his strike just to return it. I mean, pro play, pro play all around. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I totally agree. Very, very good, solid play. Very good awareness of where the flag should be and when to get it back on the stand. And great communication all around to make sure that Individuals on the stand get the appropriate cap when they need it and when pressure's coming. Fours are looking at tough times, though. They had like two or three people attacking Puppy Kisses' stand. Now Kinky's the only person he was coming in for a cap, but he, uh, the flag stand was definitely not clear. Zandro coming in. Is what going to be able to stop him? No. Out with no health. Ooh, but he craters hard, I think. Or did he get sniped out? I wasn't sure from this particular angle. <laughs> Probably a nice mixture of everything. Nope, manages to pick it up. 600 health left. But X-Fade is in midfield now, clearing the chasm 
on the left side of the field, uh, trying to get sniped out, but he is able to avoid those shots with 310 health. And the flag is back on the stand. Nice reclamation and nice communication, and that will be game. Puppy Kiss is showing some really good solid play. Going to have to see if, uh, I don't know, maybe these Forza guys are going to have to consolidate their games and, and concentrate on the tribes. Yeah, they'll definitely need to, there's a couple of aspects they'll definitely need to work on. Um, but I did see some good things from them. I think mm -hmm. their cappers have uh, certainly have some ability and some talent. I think their heavy on flag knows what he's doing to a fairly decent extent as well. And I, I did agree. see them trying to switch their strategies up a bit in order to reflect the changing environment. So I give them props for at least uh, trying to get things to work in their favor. 